Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel for another interesting review and another Nidorobeirisches Pils. This one is from Privatbrauerei Erl, located in the town Geiselhöring in Nidorobeirn. And it's the western part of Nidorobeirn and it comes in this uh, Bügelverschluss flasche. As you can see, uh, always a uh, right time for a Bügelverschluss flasche. And al always right time for a Nidorobeirisches Pils, of course. Um, this uh, beer, the uh, Pils from Erleboy, also comes in the uh, NRW bottle with the crown cap, uh, as far as I understand it. But I did choose the Bügel für Schluss because um, of three reasons, basically. A little bit funnier to open, uh, older bottle shape, older bottle um, uh, style, and also keeps the beer fresh in another way comparing to a crown cap, if I understand it correctly. But um, yeah, it's the pills from this brewery, and the reason for that is uh, that it's the most sold beer from this brewery, I believe. Uh, so I think that's a fair choice to do the premium pills from uh, this brewery. Adler Boy, always uh, my my goal to try the most sold one from each brewery. Here you see the crown cap, no, not the crown cap, the uh, Bügel für Schluss Adler Boy. Here you see the top label, and there you see the main label, and to be honest with you, this is one of my favorite labels. This is one of the beers that I look for to the most to try for several reasons. One is, of course, that I like uh, the beer style pills really, really much. Another one is that I've heard really much good things about the brewery. And of course, the label. I mean, look at it. Doesn't it look beautiful? I always love while it's a picture of the of the town on the label, like in this case, Elderboy, Elder König Pilsner. Looks really, really beautiful. Uh, the color combination and everything like that. Adler König Pilsner, um, Premium Pilsner, even Premium Pils. So, very high expectations of it, uh, but now it's time to open up the bottle and see if it lives up to the high expectations of it that I'm having. So, let's open up the bottle with the Bügel Verschluss with the pop. There you can see it's smoke coming out, which of course is a good sign, shows that it's fresh. So now let's pour up the uh, the premium pills from Privat Rawai Erl in Geiselhöring in Niederbayern, of course. Interesting moment and high expectations, as I mentioned, several reasons for that. Now, as you can see, uh, foam head far above the edge of the glass, just the way it should be, and a nice strogel color of it, that which means very pale, uh, pale yellow color, just as that pills should have, in my opinion. I can take a closer look at the foam crown, looking like that. A nice, I would say, three finger thick white foam crown, and all the bubbles rising up, as you hopefully can see very uh, pale yellow in its appearance. Let's uh, get the aroma. Which is of course um, really, really fresh and nice. So let's pour up the rest. Like that. And then we have the foam head, of course, rising far above the edge of the glass, which is important. Uh, so let's give it a try. The um, Privatbrauerei Erl, located in Geiselhöring in Niederbayern, and the um, Premium Pilsner Post. Yeah. No doubt about it. Um, that it's a really, really great. Pils, this Erl König Pils. You have the strong hops taste, of course. Uh, dry, grassy, fresh hops bitterness that it's um, is so significant for the for the German Pilsners. That's of course there. That's what you can expect also, and that's what you want from a Pils. That's of course the significant thing for uh, a Pils. That's the hops taste. 
and it's also very well balanced. So big recommendation, even if you're a fan of um, big fan of the pills style or not. I, I really hope that you're gonna appreciate this one, and I really hope that you're gonna visit the Bruce website also. I link to it in the description box below. Uh, of course, as always, you can check out that out after the review. But let's take another look at this this label, Adlerboy, Adler Kunisch Pilsner. And it says uh, Landbrauerei Ludwig L. 94333 Geiselhöring Bayon. Alcohol content 5.0% volume, Adlerboy site 1871, Adler Kunisch Premium Pilsner. Um, Zutaten Wasser, Gersemann Zopfen. Gebraut nach dem Bayerischen Reinheitsgebot von 1516. That's the information from the bottle. Um, and of course, they do have many other beers. Uh, they do have many other beers. I can also show you the, the book that I'm having about Bavarian brews. As you know, if you've been following my channel since before, you do know that I do have some, some books about Bavarian brews that I like to, to show you uh, because it's my big interest and I, I like to take a look at other brews looking like reading some history about it and so on while I do my research about it. Uh, or while well, I do the review here, you can see Schwedbrauerei Adel, located where it's located in Bavaria. Um, and the information is uh, Geiselhörig Niederbayern Volksfest Bier with 6.1% volume is the recommendation according to this book. Sounds strange, but Adelboy DE, 1871, uh, here it was founded. Ludwig Adel is the brewmaster. Bier Erleben Adelboy Geiselhörig. Straubinger Straße 10, Brauerei uh, Gersthof Erleboy. Yeah, that's information from that book. Um, now, uh, over to some uh, history about this brewery that I found on the Bruce website. Fif uh, 1583, Valentin Erl, blacksmith of Holzhausen. The first tangible roots of the Erl family goes back to 1583. The first Erl uh, named Valentin Erl is documented for the first time in 1583. Its documentary evidence is due to effects of the Counter Reformation of Bavaria, which played a leading role in the Counter Reformation, prepared a war for against the um, electorate of Cologne in the draft period 1583. It says Valentin Erl, a young, strong blacksmith from Holzhausen, equipped with sword and spear. 1871, founding of the brew uh, by Ulrich the Second Erl. Ulrich II Erl, born March 27, 1831, was the last born of a total of 11 children. He studied in Metten and took over his parents' farm in 1848. Ulrich Erl was very enterprising and acquired a mill in Hadersbach in 1860. In 1871, he acquired his brother's in laws in Meyerbrew, founded in 1852 in Geiselhörn. During this time, he uh, was also elected as a member of the Patriot Party of Bavaria State Parliament. Until his death of um, March 6, 1883, he continuously expanded the brewery and acquired beer delivery rights and inns. At the same time, he represented the eighth generation of the family and first brewery generations as Erleboy von Geiselhörding. Up to this point, the family was the only active agriculture and blacksmithing. 1891, Ludwig Erl I, Ludwig I, Erl, born June 18, 1858, as the fifth of uh, 15 children, took over the brewery and associated inns from his mother, Helene Erl, in 1898, or 1891, sorry. Ludwig Erl managed the brewery until his death of uh, December 25th, 1918. 1901, new construction of the brewery at Straubinger Straße 10. In 1901, the Erlbury moved to the town square to Straubinger Straße, its current location. 1924, Ludwig I, Erl, uh, born March 18, 1896, took over his father's brewery. Ludwig Josef Erl ran the brewery together with his wife Valborga until the death of October 12, 1961. During this time, other inns were acquired. The brewery inn in Geiselhörn became one of the leading inns in Lower Bavaria under the management of Valborga Erl. Uh, yeah, that's um, of course the history continues. You can continue to read it on the Bruce website. Really, really interesting. But I think that it's for now regarding Erl Boy from Guys at Hurling and the Erl Kurdish Premium Pills that I've been reviewing. Hope that's it for now. Hope you like my reviews and see you again in the next Bavarian Bear review.